Today is the day we finally get our Mana Crypt. We're going to be unboxing another mystery booster box, and we've got our wonderful Squirrel Overlord here to uh, give us some good luck. So, I do hope that you all enjoy this particular video. I absolutely love unboxing these mystery booster boxes. Uh, drafting it is incredibly fun. I've done a couple drafts and some sealed with it, and it's just so fun to play. Uh, and the value in these boxes is absolutely amazing. Some of them are hit or miss, though. We have done a couple other unboxings over on the Magic channel, but I decided to do one here for the main Tag Back TV channel uh, to kind of show some of you that are interested in Magic the Gathering that I am as well. And every once in a while, I love sharing things that I just really love on the channel. Even if I know a lot of people aren't going to watch it, I still want to do it. So those of you that are out there, that really do like Magic the Gathering, feel free to subscribe to Mana Taps, which is my Magic channel. I'm going to be working on uh, uploading more videos on there in a routine fashion, maybe like one or two a week, depending on what's going on. going to start doing some Commander content on there too, which I think is going to be fun. Actually, let me do that so we can get some better lighting. Perfect. So we got Wind Shards. Just the, It's just a really, really fun box set. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite boxes that have ever been released by uh, Wizards, so I'm really curious to see if they keep doing things like this and reprinting some of the older style cards. Absolutely love them, but we are on the hunt for a wonderful... Ooh, Ristic Study. Nice hit. This is an uncommon, but it is a like $20 uncommon, which is really nice. We got Mindspring, which I actually haven't gotten that one before. Uh, so that is our first rare. I'm going to put the Rhystic Study in the Mythic department because it's worth more than the majority of the Mythics. And then our first foil rare is the Reaper King. That was a wonderful first pack. So we'll put the foils over there. Put the commons over here. Or the common and uncommons. Although there are some really high value uh, uncommons as well as commons in this particular set. So at the end of the video, we'll put the entire value of the box in here. Right now the boxes are averaging around... 150 to 160 uh, and I bought all of my boxes for a hundred or less um, I should have honestly probably have not open all the boxes and just sell some of them but they're just way too fun to open and the value so far I haven't opened a box less than $220 worth of value inside of it so I'm really enjoying this particular set and there's a card that I haven't gotten so far uh, revel in riches Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure artifact token with sacrifice, add one. That's so good. This is going in the squirrel deck. If you control ten or more treasures, you win the game. Yep, that's going in the squirrel deck. I've never even seen that card before. That's wonderful. And then Echoing Decay is our next foil. There we go. I guess we'll just do one side at a time. But having more of those Rhystic Studies is nice because uh, I think I have a couple of them now. Unfortunately, I bought one just before opening this box. I was like, what are the odds of getting a Rhystic Study? Well, the odds are I'm going to get almost one per box, which is kind of crazy, because the chances of pulling any one card out of here is like pulling a Mythic. But I've gotten a lot of duplication the past couple days, but I have not pulled a Mana Crypt, so I'm hoping that we finally get one. So we got a Rare there, then we got Thalia's Lancers, and uh, Pila Pila. Good old Pila Pila. But if you do find yourselves enjoying this video, make sure to slap that like button. I'd greatly appreciate the support, and so would the YouTube algorithm, so it knows that you enjoy some of the stuff. So Trail of Evidence, I think this is actually a decent uncommon. I'm not sure. I, actually, it's probably worth a couple cents. But I'm putting it in the rare pile just in case. Some of these uh, more expensive commons and uncommons, they're going to go in the rare pile. Uh, Thought Vessel, I don't think, is one of them. Phantom Centaur. Misdirection. And then Boundless Realms from Modern 13. Or uh, mo Modern 13. <laughs> oh, God. Corset 13. Modern 13. Oh, my God. It's because it's got that M there. It should be like C13 for Corset 13. Or, or was it Modern Masters 13? I have no idea. I know the majority of the, the set symbols, but for some reason, those always throw me through a loop. The Elixir of Immortality. Oh, you know what we also haven't pulled yet? We haven't pulled a Demonic Tutor. Ooh, nice. Amulet of Vigor, $15 rare right there. It'll probably go up in value, maybe, depending on how many are pulled and how much of this is reprinted. 
but it's a good card to have. That's the second one that I've pulled of that. I haven't pulled any mythics yet. So the first box we the first box we opened, we had 16 mythics. Then we had eight, five, and then five in the boxes that I have opened so far. Um, so that first box was definitely an outlier. If you want to see the uh, the 16 mythic booster box opening, uh, feel free to click the link in the in the description. We got Tinker. Tinker, I don't remember if Tinker is really worth anything. I'm going to put it there just in case. Then, speak of the devil, our first mythic, Star of Extinction. Destroy target land. Star of Extinction deals 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Wow. Okay. So, mythics will go there. I don't think that's worth anything. And then we got Norn's Annex. Our first mythic, I don't think Star of Extinction. I might be like a dollar mythic, maybe. A lot of the value in this set is really in the rares and uncommons, believe it or not. There's a few rare, uh, mythics that are worth some money. Obviously, we've got the Mana Crypt that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, Unflinching Courage. I actually really like this uh, the artwork on this. I don't know. It just sings to me a little bit, you know? Ah, the Bear Cub. <laughs> Such a ridiculous card. I want to make a Bear Tribal deck, but it's so hard to make it work. And then we've got... Wrath Knight as our foil. So the first box I opened had like a bunch of upside down cards in it. And I think it just was like an issue with the printing cycle for it. Where it just stuck so many mythics inside of it. It was ridiculous. I was getting like mythics and in in just all over the place. Overrun. Reflect a Mage. That's actually a nice artwork as well. M Milliken? I actually haven't gotten that one yet. Ancient Den. Oh, 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 we got a sliver, baby. We got Cranko Mob Boss and a sliver. So that those packs were kind of a, a bust. When we got Rhystic Study, that's the only really Oh well then we did get the Amulet of Vigor as well, so that's not too bad so far. We're gonna try and go through the uncommons and commons a little bit quicker now. It's just interesting because it's always different. Like you're not seeing like the same cards in every single pack like you do with typical box openings. Eater of Days. Ah, uh, there's our next mythic. Or I have not pulled this one either. Dreddy Scrap Servant. A Goblin Planeswalker. Interesting. And then we got Sundial of the Infinite, which I haven't gotten this one yet. End each end the turn. Activate this ability only during your turn. Alright, so we got Sundial of the Infinite. There's actually some really good ways to use that. I can't remember what the value on it is. I think it's like five bucks maybe. Not too shabby. So, so far it's looking like this is going to be a pretty low value box. Unless we get lucky, which it can happen. So we get Aetheros, God of Passage. We got another god. I completely forgot that they added... I think this is the third god that I've gotten so far. So that was a mythic kind of in a different slot as well. And we got uh, Alicia who summons death. And then Drox, Gold Captain. So, three mythics. And a Rhystic Study. We need, like, more Lotus Petals and stuff. I only got one Lotus Petal so far. Um, definitely need a Demonic Tutor, which would be nice. Demonic Edge. Perforos, God of... Okay, so it looks like we're going to be pulling gods today. Goblin, Charl Belcher, and then Triskeleton. So Perfor uh, Perforos, I think, in this set is worth, like, 10 to 13. Well, that's definitely some good value in that particular pack. Come on, let's get a Mythic in this entire middle slot of these packs. How crazy would that be? Some really nice Mythic stacking. Beast Within. Belligerent Brontodon. Just imagine that. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equals to his toughness rather than its power. And it's just this evil little Brontodon. Hey, Lotus Petal. There we go. That's going in the Mythic pile. And then we got another mythic, Nissa, Voice of Zendikar. Wow, all right. Um, I know the, the Lotus Petal isn't a mythic, but it's worth more than the majority of the mythics in the set. $8 common. Or is it uncommon? I don't remember. Uh, but that's really nice. Come on. We need, like, two. I've, there has been people who've gotten two mana crypts in one box. How crazy would that be? To pull two mana crypts in one box worth $140 a card. Absolutely insane. 
I'll be very happy with just one. Ah, I just, <laughs> Solemn Simulcrum and then Scrab something or other. I have no idea. You know what? Let's just move these. They're like kind of getting in the way now. Pulling things upside down again. Opt, duress, drudge, undo, run, cross and druid, ruiner of thorns, soul manipulation, sandstone oracle, and impending disaster. Ah, yes, this one destroys all lands. I don't think it's a high value, but it is one of those, like, just screw everybody over card, and then mage right stone. We didn't pull a mythic out of every pack in this middle slot here. But we did pull a few. Which is not bad. Still no uh, mana crypt, though. I'm starting to feel like I'm just not going to get one. Going to be opening a total of six boxes. Oracle of the Nectars. I don't think I've gotten that one. Tap and you gain X life. Oh, that could be really good if you have a ton of extra mana. And we've got sh uh, Shamanic Re Revelation and Gleeful Sabotage. Three green cards in a row at the end of that box. Jeez. And we're definitely hoping for value in some of the other slots because our Mythics have been really, 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 really low value. Ancient Brontodon. We're getting some Dinosaurs, which is nice. Belby's Portal. Not worth a lot. But it's a cool art or a cool card. Okay. Then we got the Dragon Lord. What is this? Elder Dragon? Hexproof as long as it's untapped. Huh. So that's another mythic. We haven't gotten a foil mythic in this particular box either. I do believe we got a foil. We barely even got any foil rares either. Usually these are pumped with foil rares. What's that? Oh, Brazen Buccaneers. That was like Brazen Borrowers, which is a different color. And we got that. Ooh, Angelic Destiny. I pulled... This is the fourth Angelic Destiny that I've pulled? That's another Mythic. And then... Okay, Puka's Mischief. So we finally got another rare foil. Angelic Destiny is actually a pretty darn good card. Um, value is okay on it. But I have a ton of them now. I would much rather be getting some of the other things. Yeah, I think four. So five boxes we've opened, and I've gotten four of those. So there's definitely some, like, duplication. Oh, Bloom Tender. There we go. That is a wonderful rare to get. Magnificent $30 rare. Although, it's I think it's like $20 right now in this set. And then we got Debtor's Nell. And then Proclamation of Rebirth. This is the first one of this that I've gotten in this particular box. Don't know the particular value on that. But the value in the whole box will be... At the end of the video. Alright. Bloom Tender is definitely a nice pull. Combo attack. High Spire Mantis. Huh. Prophetic Prism. Thieving Magpie. Oh my god. Dirty little magpies. I think I'll put that down here. Uh, wait. That's a mythic. Haven't gotten that one before. Animar Soul of Elements. Ooh, oh, 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 and Intruder Alarm. Nice. I have needed one of these. Uh, I've been wanting a foil Intruder Alarm because I love the artwork on this Intruder Alarm. So that's going in my Squirrel Commander deck, which is amazing. And then we got Animar Soul of Elementals. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've messed everything up. The Mana Vault not wanting to come out of the pack. That's how it works, right? When you get one of those packs that fights back, there's a Mana Vault in there. Grapple with the past. Regrowth. Return target card from your... Yeah, that, eh, might not be too... Iron Tread. Oh, another god. Jeez, we've gotten almost every single god in this. Hornet Sting? Okay. We have, we've gotten almost all the old gods. This is a god box. But I can't name it a god box, because then people think there's just, like, tons and tons of mythics in it. Although... There were a decent number of mythics in here. It would be a god box now if we got all the gods and then a mana crypt. Blinding Soul Eater, Cairn Wanderer, First Crufix, and Mind Slaver. The first Mind Slaver I've gotten. Alright, three packs left. 
Come on, baby. Cross your fingers for a mana crypt, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe you trying to give me some good luck in the future will give me good luck in the past. Blow, is that, does that say blow your house down? It's, <laughs> it's the three little pigs. I haven't seen that card before, or I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, Harmonize, Raging Sword Tooth, Filgree Familiar. I haven't gotten that one before. Phantasmal Dragon, ah, Chromatic Lantern, and a level. I just purchased a leveler too. Uh, when leveler comes into play, remove your library from the game. All right, two packs left. Uh, although those are two good, two decent pulls. Chromatic Lantern, uh, I don't think has a lot of value, especially now in this particular set because it was just printed. It's been printed like two or three times recently. Bestial Menace, Crystal Chimes, Master Transmuter, good com or good rare. Gideon Jura, um, Prophetic Ritual. So that is another mythic. I do not think that it is worth anything. Maybe like a dollar at the most. So, all right, let's count how many mythics we have before we open that last pack. So one, two, three, four, five. Six doesn't count. Seven, eight, nine, ten mythics in this particular box. Come on. I'm trying to pump some good energy into this pack. Let's get eleven mythics. What are we gonna get for our last pack? Price of the entire box or value of the entire box will be going up on the screen right now for those that are curious. Simic Locket. Alright, last few cards. Come on, baby. Floodgates. Ah, oh, War of Invention and Codex Shredder. All right. Well, it wasn't a terrible box, but it definitely wasn't near our best. Uh, but we did get Bloom Tender, Lotus Petal. We got, uh, I mean, Ristic Study. So we got some of the really good non-mythics. But other than that, I do hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.